What's up guys, I'm Colin for the Score Esports. You know, when we talk about eras in Counter-Strike, they're often defined by the teams that dominated them. Think Ninjas in Pajamas at the beginning of CSGO. SK Luminosity a few years ago, and now FaZe Clan, maybe? But which one is the ultimate Counter-Strike Global Offensive roster? Now before you hit the comment section, because I know you're dying to, hear me out and take a look at our criteria. We evaluated these teams partly on major finishes, top four consistency, and yes, how they helped define the era they played in. So without further ado, sit back, hit that subscribe button, and get ready, because this is the top 10 rosters in CSGO history. Kicking off our list at number 10 is FaZe Clan's star-studded lineup. With superstar players in Olaf Meister and Nico, a world-class opera in Guardian, and experienced players in Kerrigan and Rain, FaZe is easily one of the most impressive rosters, at least on paper. FaZe Clan is kind of a band of rock stars, and we are here to rule the world. A lot of people call us the super team to compare to, I don't know, Golden State Warriors. If I am at my peak, no one can beat them. Despite a shaky start at their first event, this lineup rebounded with ease, placing top four in 11 out of 13 tournaments, including seven grand finals appearances and three first place finishes. FaZe Clan might have lost to Cloud9 in a nail-biting major grand final, but you can't argue against this team's consistency. At number 9, we've got a Fnatic lineup that featured the original Swedish powerhouse in Olaf Meister, JW, Flusha, Krims, and newfound addition Dennis from November 2015 to August of 2016. After a dominant run in the early Fnatic era, the sudden departure of Pronax and addition of Dennis left many fans confused and baffled. But the roster move changed nothing as Fnatic picked up right where they left off, continuing their reign as CSGO's best team. What's crazy about the success of the new Fnatic lineup, it feels like it's really made us actually kind of take greatness for granted because already this is clearly one of the best CSGO teams we've ever seen. With Dennis on board, they made it to six grand finals, winning five back-to-back -back titles and placing outside of the top four only once in 10 tournaments. At number eight on our list is the Na'Vi lineup that featured the likes of Zeus, Seized, Guardian, Edward, and Flamey. At a time when CSGO was arguably at its peak with teams like Fnatic, Luminosity, and Envious, Na'Vi were a model of consistency, routinely placing at the top of the leaderboards. The thing with Na'Vi is they're such a solid team, really structured, and they will always, as Thorin points out a number of times, they never get blown out of games. They've already accomplished so much, making it to the final of the last major, winning so many small tournaments, so many top four, so many top eight finishes. This has been a very, very consistent team. And now it's all on Shroud here. 17 seconds, and he goes for the fight. He goes down, and Na'Vi are going to win it 16-14. It's all on device one versus two. He's behind the squad. Troy, he gets sprayed down, and Na'Vi going to make it 16. Eight here. Out of 27 premier events, Na'Vi made 13 grand final appearances, 19 top four finishes, and won five titles. Hailing from Denmark, this roster of Dupree, Device, Zipix, Cajun B, and Kerrigan made their presence known in the scene with some dominant wins early on against some of CSGO's best They're teams. They're both going to get blinded here in Carrigan. It's a 2 on what one It's just ball. Olaf left and he's going to get Carrigan down. There it is! Well KGB played. will end it on well the aggressive played. pistol down mid. They take it! Although they were often known for falling short in the tournaments that mattered the most, it was this team's incredible consistency throughout their two-year tenure that landed them on this list. During their run as Dignitas, TSM, and Astralis, the Danes boasted an incredible streak of 21 top four finishes, nine grand finals, and won five championship titles in that time span. Number six on this list is the next iteration of Astralis. That previous Danish roster of Device, Dupree, Cajun B, Zipix, and Kerrigan met with inconsistent placings starting in mid-2016. Kerrigan was swapped out for new IGL Glaive, and things turned around immediately. 
you can't predict anything in these rounds. Zipfix, second kill for him, drops Cold Zera. They are fired up. I said on the broadcast on TBS that you shocked the world because none of us had you getting out of the group, especially because you'd only been in the team for, for like three days. A huge test for this new lineup for Astralis. They bring in Glaive and they defeat SK. You haven't seen that out of Astralis for a very long time. The change proved to have an immediate impact for the Danish squad, placing inside the top four in 13 of their first 14 events. And although Astralis only won three titles, one of them was the 2017 E-League Major over Polish legends Virtus Pro. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, your major champions, Astralis. At our number five spot, we've got LDLC slash Envious, which featured the likes of Shox, NBK, Kiyoshima, Smiths, and Happy. In an era that was dominated by Sweden, this French team was one of the most consistent, placing in the top four in 12 out of 15 premier tournaments and making nine grand finals appearances, topping it all off with a major win at Dreamhack Winter 2014. See himself. He's gonna spot MBK first, he goes down! And LDLC, they pick it up! And look at that, they can hardly believe it! They're hugging each other and it must be an unreal sensation! And the crowd will stand up and recognize LDLC and their performance. Up until 2018, it felt like our number four roster had been together since the dawn of time. Sticking with their core of Snacks, Bialy, Pasha Biceps, Taz, and Neo, Virtus Pro were the longest standing five man roster in CSGO history. So, this is a lineup that has had the same five players for longer than any other team in CSGO. Even when they've hit slumps, even when they've hit lows in the past, like they're currently in at the moment, they found a way back out of it. I mean, there's a famous line that they said in an interview once where they said, we don't change players, we change roles. And that really has been the dynamic within Virtus Pro for the last few years. With multiple top four finishes over the years and several high profile tournament wins, including a major championship in 2014, Virtus Pro have easily solidified their spot as one of the best teams to ever play the game. Coming in at number three, we've got the Counter-Strike legends, Ninjas in Pajamas. Boasting Swedish superstars Forrest, Get Right, Freiburg, Exist, and Fiflaren, this team was a force to be reckoned with. Having won an unfathomable 87 land maps in a row, Nip crushed the rest of the competition and were uncontested for most of 2012. It was just very cool and surprising to see that you actually can be so dominant in a game and also that you were one of the best players at the same time. NIP, Ninjas in Pajamas, were the best team in the world by far. They won their first 87 straight maps in offline competitive play. In online games, they occasionally lost, but offline, they were imperious, they were unbeatable. The Ninjas would go on to post an impressive 17 top four finishes followed by three consecutive major grand final appearances, including a major win. In our runner-up spot is none other than the Brazilian super team of Cold Zera, Fallen, Fur, Taco, and FNX. At a time where the CSGO scene was dominated by European rosters, no one could have predicted such a meteoric rise from a roster that hailed from Brazil. But with an up-and-coming superstar in Cold Zera and one of the best in-game leaders in Fallen, this lineup was poised for success. Luminosity is a team that essentially is like the brainchild of one person. It's this guy Fallen. Fallen basically is the godfather of Brazilian CS. I mean, Luminosity continues to lead the way in terms of strategy, so it's very unique because the best in-game leaders in the world in Counter-Strike have, throughout all of history, been from Europe. The idea that a South American guy could actually be the best tactician in the whole world is actually like revolutionary in itself. After multiple tournament wins and placing outside the top four only three times throughout 2015 and 2016, this lineup became only the second team ever to win back-to-back -back majors. In terms of winning a second consecutive major, can you just put that into words, what that means to achieve? It's such an incredible feat. This is more than expected, to be honest. We just get outside Brazil, get outside our families, we get outside our house to 
try to do something, but I think we're doing more than something. We're building a legacy. Coming in at number one is none other than Fnatic. Featuring the likes of Olaf Meister, JW, Flusha, Crims, and Pronax, this roster absolutely dominated the CSGO scene. During their reign from June 2014 to November 2015, Fnatic won 12 championships, made 17 finals, and reached the top four in 24 of 27 premier tournaments. Oh yeah, and they were also the first team to ever win back-to-back -back majors. How does it feel? Just talk me through the feelings of what it's like to know you've set all these records. You're now the first team ever to win three majors. You've won one back to back. How does that feel? I have no words. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm not going to keep pushing it. What do you want to say about the rest of your team and how they played? I don't know. I don't have any words. I'm, the feelings I have now, right now is uh, indescribable. I don't know what to say. Well, guys, that's our list. And if your favorite roster didn't make it, well, there's always next major, right? Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button.